yesterday when you were at work. Yeah. Who is this? Is cold peanut butter. Hi. <laughs> this is my kava bowl at home, made with shrimp. <laughs> go ahead and say it. I didn't feel safe at all. And yeah, so here we are. There are two gyms that I am looking at seriously. Like seriously want to become a member of. But I am going to uh, continue to work out at those gyms sporadically. Y'all be like, how you do that? Well, I have people that I know that work out at different gyms and stuff like that they can let me in on like a little pass and stuff like that or they'll pay for me to get like a day pass and stuff like that i know some nice people so they went ahead um like well they goes ahead if like if i ask them if i want to work out or if they ask me that they want me to work out with them they will buy me like a little day pass and stuff like that to work out at their gym so that is the story of fitness right now. But what I've been doing, let me tell y'all the upside of it. What I have been doing because I'm in between gyms right now is that I've been doing a lot of outdoor workouts, heavy on the outdoor workouts and in home workouts. So basically outdoor meaning walking because that's the cheat code, baby. If y'all not walking, I was doing that when I was at the gym. Y'all know, I don't have to, I don't have to say nothing. When I was at the gym, I always ran and did, like did my run or my walk after. So it's very vital, like if you're trying to lose fat or if you're trying to tone and lose fat at the same time or whatever you want to, you know, whatever your goals are, especially if it's those two goals um, included, is that you definitely want to do your lifting and then your cardio after. So um, I need some that can just target these potato salad arms and I'll be fine in life, but those are genetics my mama got big arms big arms running my family so <sighs> anyway um back on topic so as far as the indoor workouts i know a lot of people um i gotta put the names on the screen or i will link two videos for you guys um of ladies that i watch i just can't think of their names because they're already queued up of my tv in my living room where i do like different uh workouts on my little yoga mat and yeah so that's what i do now in between gyms it's only been like 10 days so a week and a half of being in between gyms so it's not a big deal but i know by the end of this month i need to make a decision because i miss being like in the gym to where it's just a case of days like these if it does rain outside I'm not fully dependent on doing my outdoor workout because I feel like that's so important to me to go walking every day. So that's what's going on right now, but it's not a big deal. It's not bad. So I have a lot of errands to do prior and I hope it does not rain 
after I'm done with my errands because that'll be a low blow. Um, but if not, we're gonna, we're gonna get it in. We might have to get it in in the rain. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to introduce the vlog. This is actually present day, Jessica. Um, I wanted to introduce the vlog because I need to get this footage off my phone, okay? I got some footage all the way back from when me and my daughter went to the rodeo and the rodeo carnival. Um, I'm just gonna let y'all know, y'all not gonna get no part three, okay? And for those who know me, know that I went to the rodeo three times and I'm talking about three main times like I went to the hideout with the girls that y'all already seen and then I went to the carnival and to get food with my daughter that was the second time and then the third time I went I went to um the Bumby takeover I did not film that I had to have some for myself y'all I'm sorry I had to enjoy it for myself I was in a suite with my man. Well, not my man, but my man, like, at the time. I guess somebody I was dating, he got a suite and everything. It was a lot of us. I wasn't trying to vlog all that. Okay, y'all have already seen me vlog at the rodeo and stuff like that. Sometimes it's just best to keep some things for yourself, especially when you're dating. What is this on my finger? Especially if you're dating, you guys. Like, I date around. I'm not taking nobody serious. Nobody. Okay? So, if I know I'm going to have, like, a really, really good time, it's no point. I'm looking at this traffic. Jesus Christ. If I know if I'm going to have a really, really good time, or if I'm not... if You know, when you having fun, sometimes, not all the time, because it's sometimes that I do pick up the camera, and I'm having a ball, baby. But... It be them times where it's just kind of like, I'm putting my phone in my purse and I'm not recording nothing, okay? And that was one of those nights that I just had a blast. I was kind of regretful in that night because I definitely wanted to see my homegirl Brandy because she was bartending. And there were some other people that I knew that that was there, that was there after the fact though. And I was like, dang, y'all was there too? And I ain't see y'all because I'm all like booed up in the suite. So anyway, you guys, that's that on that. But I'm going to take y'all back. I don't know why. I think I'm going to just edit all that out. I don't think I am. Anyway, I'm going to take y'all back uh, to when me and my daughter went to the carnival. And then we'll bring the vlog all the way circled back until I work out and stuff like that. That's kind of how I want to do it. Um, so yeah. On to the vlog. I love y'all. And I'm sorry that I've been a private person. Um, but private in a good way. I don't know if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while now. My face has been so brighter and prettier now. I'm just loving myself. I'm sorry. I have no makeup on. I think it might be the glasses though. I don't know. And then this is lip gloss. It's not lipstick. This is the Kips. Uh, the Kips. The Kiss Glam Shine. It just has a tint to it. So, I just... I just love myself, y'all. I always have. Um, I think it's an accident up here. I, this conversation is going all over the place. But I just was noticing how cute I look in the camera. So I'm sorry. I don't know. Y'all be having them random moments. Be like, ooh, I look cute. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I need to handle up on some business. And we're going to circle back to this part of the vlog. Uh, Even though after that, it might not be in order. I don't know how I'm doing it. I told I told y'all I'm private, so I might be just dumping clips on y'all. Look, one of these days my vlog gonna be a little bit more realistic. But vlogs are real. My vlogs are real, but I'm talking about realistic as far as timelines go. But who wants everybody to clock your teeth? I don't want you to clock my teeth. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to clock your teeth because I'm not interested in your business. And I don't want you to be clocking my tea. Because ain't no tea to be clocking. So, why well, make it easier for you? <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. I'm really playing. So, anyway, on to the vlog. I love y'all. And let's take y'all back to the town. We went to the carnival. And then we'll let the clips roll from there. Love y'all. And make sure y'all comment and like. Y'all ain't been commenting. I love y'all. Y'all know I be talking to y'all. Come on now. Y'all was commenting on the mother videos. What's going on? Y'all busy? Y'all too busy for the kid? Y'all know
don't want to talk back. Y'all know I'm going to talk to you. Just, just comment. I'm waiting on y'all. But anyway, I see y'all when we circle back. <laughs> Young on no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right off the curb. Yeah. Bentley spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crank up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Yeah. 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 Young on no one that they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a surge. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Smack from the back of a perm. The bird, uh, shit, you know, all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own land, we can't merge. So, with no hands, you can learn. Let's see how much you can earn. Why me go big like the worm? And I ain't smoking no shirt. I'm gonna be big with P. Keep me, keep me skinny. I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the center. I let them run through a me and I rock with a really, let's fuck on the bank. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. It's a sea wanna fulfill it. Smoke out the pound when I'm chillin'. Trappin', I made me a killer. Look, I got everybody wishing. I hope you play your position. I don't want nobody listening. I see them hoe with precision. Give us my only decision. I'm gonna know one that back calling me splurge. Drive me jump right off the curb. Make this right fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Keep my hey, equal. I know y'all can barely see me, but y'all can see me. Barely see me, but you can see me. I went thrifting. Y'all, I went thrifting for the first time. Yes, I went thrifting. I bought like three pairs of like shorts. One pair of Bermuda shorts and two like jean shorts. One medium wash and one like uh, tie-dye wash. I don't know what you call it. Like it had like the spots all over it. My hair is so cute, y'all, but y'all can't see me. We've been out all day. I haven't been vlogging. I feel so bad. I feel, feel I feel so, so bad. We've been shopping all over. Like, we've been everywhere. Um, what's really grinding my gears right now is that I need to get my windshield um, repaired or fixed or whatever because a rock hit it. It's not that much of a... Uh, crack but it's bothering me so I'm gonna figure all that out this week I don't want the crack to spread it's kind of spread it a little bit so we're gonna see um but yeah besides that um, I've had an amazing day we had some good food today we tried some new stuff I didn't film that I'm so sorry y'all but I promise to be a better better vlogger <laughs> So, yeah, but I look pretty. I'm wearing that curly wig that I absolutely do not like, but I put one curls in it and it looks pretty. I think I look cute. I know y'all can't see me. I'm sorry. Can y'all see me now? Probably still no. I look pretty though. I'm gonna be wearing my hair like this. Um, probably go back and forth between straight and curly though. Just letting you know, I might not do curly all the time. But back and forth between straight and curly has been my vibe these days. So it's cute. It looks natural, I guess. And like I told y'all, I just put a wand curl in it. But y'all, y'all heard me talk about this. I thought it was somebody in my door. Um, but y'all heard me talk about this wig in my last vlog. It looked natural though, since I put the curls in it. But I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But yeah, I'm still down in the dumps about my um my windshield. We'll see. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's like literally in the center and it's like maybe this big of a crack. Like this. It's, it's curved just like that. And it's this big of a crack. So anyway, we are in line at In and Out. I'm just gonna get me a flying Dutchman. The one that you don't get the buns, the bread on it. I've been doing really good on my diet. I had something that was off my diet, but me and her shared it. My daughter is in the passenger, sleep, uh, passenger seat sleep. So, but yeah, we're going to just get some in and out. Um, I thought you were asleep. Oh. 
but we're just gonna get some in and out. Um, I'm not gonna eat this until probably like a couple of hours from now. I'm just gonna throw it back in the air fryer. But I wanted to get me some food to where I won't, I won't be looking for food and try to leave the house because I'm not cooking. It's Saturday, I'm not cooking, okay? We don't be cooking like that on Saturdays, okay? So, that is for during the week. So, yeah, y'all, that is it for today's uh, portion of the vlog. I'll catch y'all on probably tomorrow. Um, we're probably going to do some grocery shopping. I look pretty, though. My lashes are cute. These lashes, I think, from Amazon. I think Amazon on she in, and I didn't do the double. I didn't double them. This is just one lash, like each eye. So, but yeah, y'all. Buy me something to eat. We gonna chill. Probably watch some TikTok shop, especially an online shop. And I catch y'all tomorrow or the next day. Lay y'all. Okay, y'all. So the best tequilas to me is Hornitos, Anejo. Um, eighteen hundred is pretty good. I prefer the Reposado. And then, what is the other one? I'm looking for it. <clears throat> my favorite one is Espelon. That's a good one too. I'm getting something for my neighbors because they helped me uh, like move something to the dumpster the other day. Terramana is pretty good too. Terramana, y'all see that? pretty good <clears throat> and guess what they wanted they wanted tequila so i'm getting exactly what they wanted so i might get them the espalon since that's my favorite but this is the best one right here i think this is the reposado right here but yeah terramana is pretty good Herodora. Okay, y'all. I know y'all couldn't hear me in the store because that music was wild. But I ended up getting them the Hornitos. I know I was holding it upside down. The Hornitos one. Only because I know that it's so, so good. And not only that, it was the cheap. It, was, it wasn't the cheapest, but it was the best price. And it's a good size. If you guys know me personally or in person, y'all know that this is what I usually bring to functions. <laughs> it's really, really good. It's strong, though, you guys. So just letting y'all know, it's strong. It ain't as smooth as the Espelon, but it's really, really good. Like, it's really, really good. So I got them the Reposado. And y'all, y'all wouldn't believe. I'm telling y'all. $14.99. Okay, with tax $16 okay so get this size this is a i don't know what size this is oh 375 milliliters and look at the alcohol percentage okay so this is a good tequila you guys and i wanted to get this for my neighbors so this is what i got i'm gonna put it in this gift bag this is their gift bag it says yay on it i found this at dollar tree and then i got them some little confetti to put on top i got them i don't know what this part is i got them a little card saying thank you thanks for your kindness your thoughtfulness i was I, i've been living in my apartment for seven years you guys ain't nobody helped me with nothing nobody asked nothing but they was the first ones so i had to do something special and when they told me get tequila i was like oh good so i'm gonna set up their little bag and yeah, I think that's gonna be nice. Put a little card. Yeah. I love doing nice things for people. So I'm about to give them their gift. I hope they are home. So I'm about to give them their gift. Here it is right here. Let's see if they at home. Hello. Hi. I come bearing gifts. <laughs> I know, I know. We came yesterday, but you were at work. Yeah, my brother told me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy enjoy your holiday. Yes, thank you. And pour up. There's some good tequila in there, y'all. All right, bye. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, this music is crazy, but I found this two-piece wall art from Ross, $19.99. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my room because I don't have black in my living room. I have gray and cream in my living room, but I have black in my room. So this is gonna go in my room. Okay, so they have this one that I can put in my living room because it has the gray in it. It has the black frame, but I do have a black coffee table, so I'm not sure. But they got this one with the black and cream. And then they have this one too as well. These prices are good. I'm gonna have to ask my daughter which one. I don't know. I'm gonna go ask my daughter. Hey y'all, this is what we came up with for the living room. We will see how it works out for you, girl. But I think it's the perfect tone of gray. We'll see when we get home. To make we make too many rules to break, find too many fighting that case. I gotta find my way. Gotta need new shoes. If I lose, she lose. And I ain't get used to losses. Days like this, I wish all my love was unchanged. Hey y'all, we in the parking garage at the grocery store. We about to leave. So I hope y'all enjoyed coming to shop with us a little bit. Y'all, why did I spend nothing but $94? Yeah, $94 total between both stores, like total. I spent $33 at Trader Joe's and I spent $51 at HEB. But this wasn't a full-on grocery trip. I literally bought essentials. We go grocery shopping every week. So just look at it as being a hundred dollars a week. So four weeks out of a month, four hundred dollars a month. That's our grocery shop budget. If it go over there, if it goes over that, it's so wrong with it. It has went over that budget before. But we wasn't, um, no, I don't think it went over that place, actually. If we, if my grocery shop bill is expensive, we don't really go the next week and buy extra stuff. We just, it overlaps. You know what I mean? Like, the stuff from that week overlaps to the next week. So, but yeah, you guys, I still got my little curly wig in. This is day old hair. Like I told y'all, I put uh, a curly wand, a uh, curly wand, a curling wand um, in this hair, and that's what made it kind of look like it was back to life a little bit. I don't know. I ain't getting no water wave no more. I look cute in deep wave and curly. I really, in my opinion, deep wave. Not even curly, because curly be looking like that jerry curl texture, and we can't do that. But anyway, you guys, we had a good time. We're shopping. I'm about to go home and put this stuff up. Oh, hey, say hey, girl. Why you, girl, say hello, right? Hey, guys. That's your YouTube friend. This is my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Girl, this is not your channel. <laughs> Thank you for watching Jada's channel. Girl, you got some nerve. <laughs> so, this road is bumpy, so bear with me. I'm out to hold the camera. Lord, have mercy. Bless Houston. Bless them. Bless the city of Houston. Um, but yeah, y'all. Grocery shopping was pretty cool. About to go home and put this stuff up. I'm probably going to pick y'all back up later on or tomorrow. I, I don't know. Probably later on. But yeah. Need to bring this to the front a little bit. This looks need to dry. But it's still pretty. It's still pretty. Well, yeah, you guys, um, we are about, look at my little tiger stripes. Look how cute this is. Look, my little stretch marks here. Look, mm -hmm. it's cute. I got, you know, I got potato salad on, y'all. I could make a good potato salad, so. Let me tell them something. No, you don't need to tell them okay, nothing. Them. Goodbye, I'll pick y'all up later. I'm vanilla baby, I'll choke you but I ain't no killer baby She 28 telling me I'm still a baby, I get love in Detroit like Skiller baby Okay y'all, I know I look a mess, a critical mess Like the lace is lifting, 
y'all look when you get fresh and stuff like that you don't be you, you wipe everything off okay so anyway it's been a long day just got back from the gym just got back from working out all that jazz but i'm about to head out for a night out okay and I wanted to show y'all two makeup products that I'm about to try for the first time tonight. I am so scared. I am petrified. These are very controversial products in my opinion because people have been talking crap about both of them. Okay. The other day I went to Sephora and then the other one I got from Target. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and talk about them. The first product is the Elf. Power Grip Primer. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's the Elf Power Grip Primer. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that better now. Okay. And it's like in this green jar or tube, a green tube. And this one is the one size spray, setting spray. And like I said, both of these are controversial because people be saying this don't work. And people be saying this don't work. And then people be saying this work. And people be saying this work. So, I don't know. So, why not try it out? I'm going to be out for about two or three hours. Probably maybe up to two hours. So, we're going to test this out. I wish I could test this out a little bit longer. But I know I have something coming up this weekend. And the weekend after that. So, these will get its wear. And to make sure. Now, this don't last. In two, like for two hour wear or if it start feeling funny these going in the garbage okay <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure this one I got the travel size of both like the smallest size of both this was like 17 this was like about 10 I think it was like eight or nine or ten dollars I'm not sure okay y'all know I'm a little cheapskate you know we don't, we don't be we don't be spending no money like that the setting spray that I use uh currently is the wet and wild matte finish i don't know if i can see that this is the wet and wild matte finish spray this is the one i use currently it lasts up to 16 hours girl this stuff be lasting up to 30 hours okay okay y'all so for the primer i'm using the i know it got like a little makeup on it just ignore it okay it was laying down in some powder some maybelline fit me powder okay but anyway this is the L don't talk about me don't talk about me talk about your mama this is the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Face Primer. And this is like more of a, I don't know. I think these are both the same consistency of what I heard, the e.l.f. one and this one. So I don't know. And that one size spray, it sprays out like you're spraying hairspray on your face. That's what I've been seeing. So anyway, you guys, we're going to get into the makeup and stuff. Y'all going to watch me do my makeup, but here's a twist. Y'all aren't going to see the parts where I'm applying the primer and the setting spray because I ain't got time to be feeling, filming all this. If y'all want to see more in-depth tutorials or me doing my makeup in its entirety, I have, you know, the vlog. I don't know if it's the vlog before this one, but the vlog before that one, I'm showing every step of my makeup. If you guys are interested in all the products I use, that will be in that vlog. I think that was the Galentine's Day vlog. But if you guys want me to do it again, make sure you get this vlog up to 20 likes and I will do it. I might just do it anyway, okay? Y'all know I'll be filming and I don't know when I'm going to be picking up the camera. So I might show y'all this on the next vlog. But anyway, again, I want to repeat. I'm only going to be showing y'all when I'm putting on the primer and when I'm putting on the spray. So y'all going to see me in the beginning stages putting on the primer and then at the end, y'all gonna see me spray this on my face. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. EOT, the money power respect. The last one is better. Say there's a lot of goofies for the check. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament by polar two bottles. Hey, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but they not be legit. No 40 water. Tell them, oh, yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this and first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This many mill if I had two. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. This up lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around that stick, it ain't Andre CK. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the bitch. 
big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. What? I'm really like that. Okay, y'all. So, let me lift y'all up a little bit more. So, y'all, I am all dolled up. So, here's a close up of the makeup. I need to blend this better. Hold on. Okay. So, here's a close up of the makeup for the evening. This is using the primer, the, uh, the e.l.f. primer, okay, as my base. I need to blend my lips better. And um, the one size spray here. This is the one size spray that I used, as y'all seen in those clips. Everything looks good. Oh, that's my that's my closet. If y'all hear like some sounds, I'm leaning against it. Oop, let me fix that. Yeah, so we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna see y'all later on, and I will give y'all my final thoughts. Hopefully, it doesn't sweat off. I have two to three hours in the heat. It's nighttime, but it be hot. Oh, like I told y'all before, I wish I would have did a better wear test, but. I got y'all on the next vloggy vlog on this. Yeah, it looks good. Makeup looks good. I, this is what I usually do. Like I don't do nothing different, but I'm saying like those were the two new products that I used. So I will finish up my hair. I got like some pieces to straighten right here. And I will catch y'all later on. Lay y'all. Okay, y'all. I am back from a night out. Peep the nails, I will link them. These are from Shein. These are Gorge. It's like an almond French tip. These are my second or third time wearing these. I don't know when it's the first time. But anyway, I had a good night. I only had one drink. One drink. I think I had like a tequila lemonade. Some dude bought it. I mean, I know the dude, but you know. It ain't none of y'all business. Man, I turn on the camera for a makeup update. Oh, this is lipstick. Ignore that. Um, anyway, you guys, um, as you can tell, it's a little shiny right here. Um, just at my T-zones, I guess what you call it. I don't know. I'm not a makeup person. There's a piece of hair right there. Um, it's a little oilier than normal. But it still looks good. This is without touching up, patting it down, blending it out. I made sure that I gave y'all a real accurate test. If y'all want an in-depth test, I might do a video about this. Just a video sold about primers and setting sprays. If y'all want that, get this video up. Show me some love, cause I don't have no problem testing it. I'm good at testing like, I think I did this before. Testing a good base and a good setting spray. Because that's what's going to make it break your makeup. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, my teeth is looking really, really good. Like it's getting shades and shades brighter and brighter and whiter and whiter. We'll talk about that another day. But yeah, you guys. Uh, it's right now pretty good. And lashes. I think these are from... And these are two different styles and I stacked the two different styles so if y'all are interested I'll link those and all products are drugstore this is LA Girl Concealer blush is Mika K New York all these liners and stuff like that is from the beauty supply place this wig is from Amazon it is nappy right now well it's not nappy it's just like a little staticky because it's hot outside jewelry all she in Miss A she in Fitbit. I wore this Fitbit because my service was going in and out on my phone. I don't know what that was about. So I had this just in case if I needed to contact anybody. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, this is from Shein. Shein. All that good jazz. Uh, my outfit. Should I show you my outfit? Y'all know I'm a hooch cooch. My outfit is not fashion. It's not a fashion forward outfit. I'm a hoochie when I go out. I, I went out to the bar, okay? So, just letting y'all know, just warning y'all. I wore this shirt before, but I don't think I vlogged when I was in this shirt. So, this is 
Look, this is exactly what the shirt does. It does just like this. <laughs> Look, yeah. Um, the body is bodying. Um, the shorts. It's from Fashion House. Just some Daisy Dukes. I actually rise them up a little bit more. Like, these are not that short. Like, they grow probably like right here, but I'd be hiking them up. So, I'm a little bloated because I had a little drink a drink. But, yeah. This is how we looking. Your boo is thick. Is cold peanut butter. So y'all, I'm about to call it a night. Yeah, it's you don't want to know what time it is. Mm -hmm. So good night, y'all. And if I don't talk to y'all tomorrow, you know how I do these vlogs these days. I'll see y'all on another day, another clip. Mm hmm. See y'all on the next clip. Love y'all. Hey y'all, so tonight I'm getting ready to make my, well assemble, cause the items are already pre-prepped. We're about to go over all the ingredients for my shrimp kava bowl. It's like a kava bowl, bowl, ugh, I can't even talk. It's like a kava bowl that y'all get from kava, but instead of doing like the chicken, the falafel, the lamb, all that other stuff, I'm just gonna do shrimp. I always be making these and I was like, you know what, let me show them. I always be posting like my food and stuff like that on my Instagram. So make sure that y'all follow me on Instagram at underscore eyes of Jess. I almost said my old Instagram name. <laughs> but anyway, it's nighttime and no makeup. So this is what y'all gonna get. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all all the ingredients that I'm using for this bowl. I need to go get um, two other ingredients. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now, if y'all see like some little stuff right here, this is my pompous grass right here. Ignore that. I'm gonna push that out the way so y'all can see me better. But anyway, um, I'm gonna show y'all all the ingredients for this bowl and we are gonna get started in assembling it. It's not really cooking it because all the stuff is pretty much prepped, okay? So all the stuff, like I can use it for the next day and probably the day after, okay? So let me go ahead and show y'all. So for my base, oh, I forgot one more. Okay, so let me show y'all the ingredients. I already have my rice in the bowl already. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is basmati rice and I tossed it up in lime juice and cilantro. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So let me put the, I think the lighting needs to be a little bit more better. Hold on y'all. So this is, my cilantro rice, it's basmati rice though, but I make, like I said, I put cilantro and lime juice tossed in it. So I got got that plated. For my base also, I'm doing a greens and grains bowl. So if you guys have been to Kaba, y'all heard of like the greens and grains, build your own. So this is kale. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. And this is from Trader Joe's, you guys. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah. So, we're gonna do this as our grain, I mean our greens, cause we already put, I already showed y'all my greens. So, and I, this is a fresh bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Put that next to it. And you know what, y'all need to see me do this. But I'm going to wait until I put the other ingredients in it. So, we got the base going. Let me go ahead and prop y'all down so y'all can see me better. Okay, so this is better. This is a better angle. So, I got my greens and grains in the bowl, as you guys can see. Looks good. All right. Sorry to show y'all what my base is. Next, I'm going to do the protein like they usually do. So right here is the shrimp. I'm gonna just pop that in there. And you can put it on top of the greens, on top of the grains, you can put it in the middle, that in there. And I seasoned my shrimp with Old Bay and onion salt. The onion salt is from Trader Joe's. And y'all know where to get Old Bay at. I shouldn't have to tell y'all where to get that at. So this is what it looks like so far, you guys. Y'all see that? It looks so good. Mm 
Next, we're going to pop in the spicy broccoli. Okay, let me open it up so y'all can see. This is my spicy broccoli. Uh, Kava has the spicy broccoli too as well, but they have it like really, really small. Like they have it like really, really cut up, but mine is very chunky. These are like florets that I just, you know, steamed for a little bit. So I'm gonna put those in the bowl right here, just to the side, just half of it, not too much. Cause they don't give you a lot at Kava. So that's the spicy broccoli. And what I did with the spicy broccoli, I mixed, uh, I kind of made like a rose, I did rosemary and garlic powder. And the rosemary is pretty spicy to me in my opinion. So that's so far, that's the bowl so far. Next, um, pickled cucumber. But how I did this, um, the pickle seasoning, um, I just, uh, toss the cucumbers i cut me some cucumbers up i have many cucumbers so i cut those up and i tossed it in some pickle seasoning from trader joe's because i don't have any pickles so we did pickle seasoning okay so we're gonna put a little bit of that in there on this side okay not too much and save the other half for tomorrow so that's the bowl so far, you guys. It's coming along. Next, I'm going to do an avocado. A, a avocado is pretty big, so I'm gonna do half and say the other half of tomorrow. So look how big this avocado is. It's pretty big, okay? So let me go ahead and cut that. Slice it a few times and then dice it a few times. Okay, so it won't have no problems popping out of this little half right here. Okay, you can do big halves or big pieces, but I wanna dice it as much as I can. So I'm gonna put that over here in this little corner, this little empty corner here. Okay, I'm just using like a plastic knife. It doesn't matter, you guys. Okay. So there's my avocado sitting pretty. Looks gorgeous so far. See, it looks gorgeous so far, y'all like it? Okay, next, I'm gonna do a little bit of olive. Trader Joe's. Yeah, so we're gonna put those in the bowl. Not a lot, but I do like heavy olives, but it's okay. So we're gonna put that right here in this little corner. Okay, like so like that. Looks good, right? Okay, next we're gonna take some hummus. This is the only dip you guys that I have because usually they have like so many different hummuses at Trader Joe's. This is boar's head hummus. You can get this from anywhere, but I like the roasted red pepper hummus the best out of at uh, Kava. So we're gonna use this one. I don't have the Greek tzatziki one because that one is expensive. I, this was expensive too, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but y'all get the point. So we're gonna take some of that. Okay, and we're gonna get the middle. It's so pretty, it acts a little color. So I'm gonna put it here, like my bowl is looking very colorful now. Right, so we're gonna just put a little bit right there. Not too much, cause you know, they don't give you a lot of kava, so. Next, I'm going to use some Mediterranean, I know y'all can see that. Some Mediterranean feta cheese. Can y'all see that? I hope it's focusing. Okay, I don't know if it's focusing. Is it focusing? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. This is a brand new container, by the way, so. Okay, and we're just gonna take some of her out. I'm just using like a plastic spoon. It doesn't matter, you guys. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle her over the shrimp part. I think it's prettier over the shrimp. Okay, and I don't like too much. It's dairy, you know what I'm saying, so. I still wanna see my shrimp, but yeah. Just a little bit, just in this area. Not Nothing too crazy, you know? 
All right, so that is the feta. Okay, y'all, so this is what we have so far. Next, I have this dressing. It's by, um, what is this? Caesar, Gardini, Caesar Cardini's dressing. And this is the light Greek vinaigrette. It only has 60 calories per serving. And we're literally about to put one and a half servings, okay? Probably two, I can afford two servings, okay? Have to be real careful with this stuff. I think I'm gonna pour it in the cap first. Cause I'll be scared, like it has a lot. You know, look how big that spout is. So I'm just gonna drizzle it with the cap a little bit. Take another cap full. Drizzle it again, spots I missed. You know, nothing too wild. And another little half cap. Okay, that is that on that with the dressing. Nothing too special. We have these pita bite crackers. Uh -oh, I'm gonna put it dip in my bowl. We have some pita bite crackers from Trader Joe's, and these are good because I'm almost out of them. <laughs> I've been snacking on them, so we're gonna take some of these and just put them to the side. I want to make sure I have enough for tomorrow. I like a crunch in my kava bowl, so. That's that on that. So we're gonna put some kind of right over here. Nothing too silly. You can crack them and you know, put them, I just wanna put a little bit right there. You can crack them and like put them like pita crisp, like kava, but it is what it is. And this is what I got. Okay, so let me move this out of the way because this in the way that little box sent me. This is my kava bowl at home, made with shrimp. Nothing too crazy, very, very light. Greens and grains, build your own kava bowl with shrimp. Okay, I don't have all the ingredients like kava but this is how I like mine when I make it at home. This is what I can afford. So it's affordable, okay? And I told y'all all the ingredients, so I hope you guys, you know, make this on your own one day. You know, it's it's not hard. It's not hard to make. So, we about to taste this on camera. Okay, y'all. So, I'm gonna take a plastic fork. I'm just so used to eating on plastic forks. I, I might, why does we'll do a kava style? When you at kava, you be eating with a plastic fork too. Instead of using this fork, I'm gonna use a fake fork, not a real fork. So we at home, ain't nobody gonna judge. So take one of these plastic forks out the box. This is what we're dealing with. This is what we're working with. We looking good, honey. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna try it. And again, take a, a piece of shrimp, piece of feta, avocado, a little bit, some greens. What's up? Some greens, cucumber. I'm trying to make sure I get all the flavors in my bite. A little hummus dip. This is what our bite is looking like. Wow. <laughs> Let me try with a pita cracker. This is really good, y'all. I'm gonna dip it in the hummus, the avocado, piece of shrimp. I'm trying to get a piece of cucumber. Okay. Even got a little broccoli on it, okay? Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm going to open up a can of poppy. Um, this is the ooh, this is the strawberry lemon flavor. This is my favorite. Oh, I got food on my mouth. Let me go get a straw. I hate putting my mouth on cans. 
straws from like the dollar store. Look, <laughs> look how kitty that is. And I like to flip it and put the straw through the hole right here. Okay, cheers to a good meal. Y'all see the poppy? Cheers. Mm. But I did that. I'm a, it's gonna take me a little while to eat this bowl. <laughs> so I'll catch y'all probably either later on. I don't know you guys, it's already nighttime. I've been getting sleepy, I'm getting old. Mm. Okay, hey y'all. So I'm on the couch right now, just relaxing and stuff. And I was like, let me, I went thrifting the other day. Y'all, if I don't have no makeup, y'all, okay. Work with me. This is this is what you're gonna get most of this vlog, okay? Natural, okay? But anyway, uh, I was chilling. I was like, I went thrifting and I never showed them the pieces that I got. Um, I'm still drinking my poppy, by the way. I was looking at it. I was like, I gotta take a sip. So anyway, I got probably hate when people do that. <laughs> when they start talking and then they put something in their mouth. I hate that. I don't know why I just did it. But anyway, I went thrifting and I've already washed the three pieces that I purchased because you need to wash your stuff when you go thrifting. Like, you need to. Some people, they soak and wash. They wash it three times. All the above, baby. We got to get these clean, okay? I got three bottoms. I'm actually going back, but I'm not filming it in thrift store. I'm not from Minister store, but I'm going back later on this week and get some more stuff. Everything was like $2 a piece. Crazy. So anyway, you guys, um, I got these Bermuda shorts, but I've already cut them. Okay. I'm going to wear these like two weeks from now, probably like for Cinco de Mayo or whatever. I'm probably going to cut them a little shorter because I want these as Daisy Dukes. But these are just some regular red jean shorts. I have a pair of red shorts already, but um, I thought this was a tag. I was like, how did I wash this with the tag? But I already have a pair of red jean shorts already, but baby, they are booty cutters. No, ma'am. Let me cut off this TV in the back. Sorry, y'all, I had a TV on in the other room, so I had to cut it off. So, but anyway, these are it. These were longer. Like I said, these were Bermuda shorts, but I cut them. Okay, and this is in a size US 14. Y'all see how big these are? <laughs> these are huge. But how they fit, they fit like they're size 8. I'm a size 8, 10 in bottoms when it comes to like those sizes. In juniors or whatever you want to call it, young ladies or juniors or whatever you want to call it, I'm like a 13. 11 13 something like that sometimes i will fit a nine but it has to be very 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 stretchy if y'all want to know my specs y'all i ain't nothing but a little shorty do i i am five six well i'm kind of average but my weight i have all my weight up in my arms in my hips and thighs not too much in my stomach area and not too much up here because it's just in my arms up here and up here i am a 36 c yeah 36 c so um i wear medium tops sometimes large tops if they don't stretch at all and then the bottoms if i'm doing like large extra large and stuff like that i do large bottoms sometimes if it don't stretch it gotta be extra large because i got a lot of hips but not hips like like that hips like I don't know how you call it. I guess a lot of thighs. It's not hips. I have a lot of thighs. Because I have hip dips, you guys. So my frame is like this, kind of. You know, it's straight up and down a little bit. I don't go out like that. As far as like in the hip area. But anyway, this is a size 14. I want, want y'all guys to see that. Y'all see 14 at the top, US 14. One four. Can y'all see that? And this is by the brand Denim and Company, D&Co, I guess. 
so yeah these smell pretty good because i washed them and i cut them but i'm gonna cut them a little bit more i want them a little bit more shorter i had tried these on already i'm not trying none of the thrifting items or thrifted items today i think i'm gonna try just one piece for you guys and i got that from somewhere else i'm tired y'all okay and these are daisy dukes so they be a little tight <laughs> anyway i got these right here these are some i guess bleach stained i don't know what you call these i don't know what you call this type of wash with the stains all over it reminds me of like the 2000s and i thought these were cute you could, i'm gonna do a 2000s look i guess y'all know i'm not a fashion girly i might do an oversized t-shirt and wear it with some sneakers i might not even go out with this i might wear this on the weekends um and go shopping in it or whatever or go to a festival or something but these are cute and these are it's a little stretch stretch to these it's not super stretchy but it's a it's a good stretch and these are in a size and by the way i tried these on already these are in a size is that a 13 i can't understand the number right i think this is 18 yeah this is a size 18 you guys but it don't look like it it looks like a size 14 or 16 so then you stretch it it looks like an 18 and these fit really good. Like I said, I'm not trying these on, on camera. Like, I'm not. I just ate. I just ate that cava bowl. Okay. Next, I got these. These, I'm going to have to lose a little bit of weight for. And these were made like these. These have a... Uh, oh, by the way, the brand for these... I'm so sorry, you guys. The brand is called... American quality denim on these little weird washed shorts. I don't know. I'll probably, you know, like I do, if I go thrifting or I go to Ross or if I go to Dee Dee's, TJ Maxx and stuff like that, if I cannot find the, like if, you know, it's not an exact link, but I can find something that's similar. And I'll link it for you guys. Okay, so every piece that I'm showing you, I will find something similar and I will link it in the description box for y'all. Okay, um, I have these time and true high rise denim shorts. And like I said, these were cuffed like this. Okay, not the cutest cuff. And it has like that little stripe design. Reminds me of back when I was in high school, to be honest. And it has the buttons. These are buttons, no zipper. These are all buttons. I'm going to have to lose a little bit of weight. I'm a little bloated because my period is coming in like two days. I know that's TMI, but we're all ladies here. Um, so when I try these on, I'm a little bloated, okay? But this is like a Walmart brand. I think I remember seeing this at Walmart. Time and True, okay? If I would have got these in a size 10, I wouldn't have had to lose weight for these. But then again, since I'm on a fitness journey and I lose weight, the 10 might end up being loose. So, and like I said, you see that? The eight. Show y'all the sizing of the other ones up close. This is the 18 in those weird ones. Y'all see 18 right there? Can y'all see that? No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Next, we got some stuff i only think we got one item from ross yeah i only purchased one item for ross i had other stuff from ross but it was not clothing so this is a squirt i'm not gonna try these on should i try this on i think i'm gonna try her on this is a cute no i've tried on sports on my channel before Should I try these on? It's just an olive green sport. Nothing too special. I'm not going to try it on. Anyway, because I'm bloated, okay? But anyway, these are sports. You see? That's underneath. So, so cute. And you could dress these up. You could dress these down. And I got these in a size. Oh, by the way, the brand is New Mix. 
the new mix. And this is in a size medium. So you can see. And these fit awesome. I already tried these on. Can you see them? Some M right here. Very, very cute. Tried it on already, but I'm bloated. And these were $7 at Ross. On she and they're probably like $3. But I saw these at Ross and I was like, oh, they're so cute. And I like the length to these. They're not as hoochie as my other sports that I have. My other sports, my red ones, my brown ones, and my black sports are hoochie coochie. And yeah, they're hoochie hoochie. They're hoochie hoochie. And my pink one that I wore for Galentine's, if you lift that sucker up, you're going to see nothing but my booty cheeks. So these have a good coverage and the shorts are very stretchy underneath so these are perfection okay some stuff from shein uh it's like every time i look at the shein i'm like oh, should i try it on because i'm used to trying stuff on from shein you know so got some stuff here got an order from shein some three items the first item that i just took out the bag is this top right here very 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 nice material crop top don't let it fool you on camera the material is amazing and it looks like it will suck you in this is from the Shein easy wear line and this is in a size large because of the you know the it, it kind of holds you in so I didn't want nothing too tight I don't want a tight top Okay, and it's a real deal Holyfield crop top. <laughs> so I got that. Just some basics on that. Another basic that I got from Shein. Y'all want me to try on this stuff? Let me know and I'll try it on in the next vlog. I'm kind of tired. I don't think y'all gonna see any clothes of me, like anything of me trying on in this vlog, which I'm so sorry. It's too much going on. <laughs> so, this next top is from the Shein SXY line on Shein. And this is in a size large. I should have got it in a medium because I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is big, but not really. No, it's perfect. This is a tank crop top, okay? Nothing too fancy, it's not any special material, okay? A basic, wear it with some sneakers, you can wear it to work out. Speaking of working out, the last thing that I got from Shein is the scrunch booties. These are like my gray and black ones, and then I have some green ones that y'all seen. Y'all seen the gray and black, and y'all seen the green ones on this channel before. And I'm going to keep ordering these because I like how they make my butt look and my body look when I'm in the gym. And by the way, these are comfortable to me, in my opinion. In my opinion. Right, I'm like, how something going in your booty? Uh, comfortable. To me, it's comfortable. Okay? So, I got these in a size large. So is my other ones. My other ones fit good. And by the way, the ones... No, actually my black and gray ones they're in a size extra large i think so mm -mm, this might be too small <laughs> let me see the stretch is pretty good i got some stuff from timu this is something i'm going to install probably tomorrow or the next day i need to open it do i have scissors scissors be back yeah i got something from timu this is a light you guys that i'm putting over my picture i pray that this works out for your girl because i've been wanting one of these for a while and i saw that timu had it and I was just kind of like, okay. And I can't remember if this is wireless or not, but I don't see any wires. So that's a good thing. So this is a light. Okay. Yeah. You 
battery powered. This don't look like it's, wait, maybe you have to stick this in here. We'll figure this out tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna put it over my picture. I don't know how that's gonna look. It's very sleek. I don't know. I have a picture that I just got from Ross that I showed y'all the other day. I don't know. It looks cute. It looks it looks modern. So this is what we got here. This is what we're working with. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this wall. I might not just do just that photo or I might not just do that photo at all. Like I might hang it up, look at it and might not like it anymore. I got these sunglasses. I got another pair I'm about to go get. Cause this vlog is pretty much probably flipped. Cause I already wore the other sunglasses, but y'all won't know that. But I think I'm gonna let y'all know that in the video. I'm like, y'all, this vlog is flipped. So we got these sunglasses here. I don't know how I feel about them. I took it out the box already and I looked at them and I was just kind of like, Oh no, picking these out. I got some more other black shades that are coming, which is stupid. So these are gonna have to grow on me. I should have wore these when I worked out the other day. These are like some workout sunglasses. I think I'm gonna use these for working out from now on because I broke my other ones. <laughs> these are perfect. We're gonna do these for working out. Mm-hmm. And let me show y'all the other ones that I got. So these are the other glasses that came in this box. Y'all, I don't know if I mentioned it in the clip that I've already recorded, <laughs> but these are the same glasses that are on Amazon that I've been eyeing for months. I looked at my wish list and I said, excuse me. So these and the ones that I eyed for months were black. Like they had the black lens. These have a blue lens. Look how gorgeous these are. They're kind of dirty, cause like I said, I wore them already. I just put them back in the box. But with makeup, it's cute. Like with makeup, it's cute. I know, y'all gonna see. But I love these. I love these. I think these would look really, really cute with curly hair too. Like when your hair is like big and poofy. Or even on vacation, if you got a blue swimsuit. Look. I know I don't look like nothing right now, but these are fire. Okay, y'all, so I went to Sephora. And what I like to do when it comes to fragrances, especially if they're very, very expensive, is that I like to date them before I marry them. So I went to Sephora the other day. I purchased, oh, by the way, this fragrance, just to let you know about dating fragrances, is that please buy the travel size because travel sizes range from 20 to $40. Sometimes 15, depending on what it is. I say 15 to $40 is a good range because $40 is like the Tom Ford ones. So this was $35 and I got the sale. I got a sale for being a VIB. I don't know if I'm VIB or rude. So let me look at this receipt. This is what I purchased. I purchased the Valentino Boring Roma Green Stravaganza Ghost Spray. This is the small one. This is a Eau de, Perf Eau de Parfum, okay? And this is in a 0.33 fluid ounce. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's travel size, so y'all, when I tell you this stuff smells so good, when I smelt it in Sephora, I was like, I gotta have it. I'm about to open it now. Let me get some scissors. So I open it from the bottom. This is ridiculous. So here it is right here in all its glory. Look how pretty this is. It says Valentino right here. Okay, y'all. It's a spray. I could spray it on. I don't think all I have is like some moisturizer on. Oh my God. Oh, it smells like candy, like green apple candy. Like they're not lying. 
this smells phenomenal so i went to bath and body works and i got the one of the viral fragrances the new one called brightest bloom can you see that yeah y'all can see it now brightest bloom and she i don't want to spray her on me but i'm gonna spray her in the ear okay and she smells like a Chanel fragrance. I don't know which one it is. I can't put my finger on it, but she is a very, she's floral, but she smells sweet too. It's like a sweet floral. I don't know how to describe it, but the notes for this one, I, I know I didn't say the notes for the Valentino. Did I say the notes for the Valentino? I'm sorry, you guys. The notes for the Valentino is, I'm just gonna have to link that one because it don't say it on there and I ain't got time. But on Bath and Body Works fragrances, it has literally the notes on the back. This is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Sambach, Garden, Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood in it. Okay, and y'all, this smells really, really good. And I'll catch y'all later on, babes. Love y'all. Next clip. Okay, good morning, y'all. This right here is an ongoing thing. Me not wearing no makeup, me looking sort of rough, but cute. Let's not get it twisted. Make sure you add cute after rough, rough cute. Okay, so y'all, I'm about to do some stuff. Y'all, this is ugly. Y'all see this? That's ugly, okay? All right, that's ugly. So we're gonna change that, okay? We are gonna make these all white so that white one in the middle is going to stay but the ends are going to be white and i'm talking about the curtain or drapery whatever you want to call that i don't know i'm just now getting into home decor so look if you want to cap and talk about me and 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 make fun of me do it now okay because i'm a beginner not okay so <laughs> anyway i'm going to add two white ones at the end, so I'm gonna get rid of the black. I don't know what I was thinking at first. I was thinking about getting a new rod, curtain rod, to go all the way across. That is on the agenda this morning, that window. And let me take y'all in my room. This right here, trash, okay? So we're making these all black. So I'm going to take these two white sparkly ones because these are sparkles in them. They're not too much sparkles, but I'm going to take these down. I'm throwing away this purple one. I don't know where I'm putting this purple crap at. I don't, I don't know. This is, this is from my childhood. Y'all don't talk about me. Okay. My hair. Oh my God. I need to do something to myself. I think I have a date later on when I'm not sure yet. And what I mean not sure yet is because I haven't confirmed. Okay. But anyway, we're going to get rid of this. Okay. So we're going to take all this down in here. And this wall over here, I'm going to, let me go get my painting. I already have some thumbtacks, y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Oh, I almost fell. So I already have some thumbtacks just to kind of mark where I want to put it at. But I don't know. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but I feel like it needs to be over here. So. I don't know. But we're going to put that up here. This beautiful art piece on that wall. This right here, it looks cream, but it's silver. I don't know why it's coming off like that on camera. Another trash item. This right here, this light from Timu. Oh, I hope I'm not showing my address. This right here from Timu, trash. This is going back. I need my money back. Ooh, excuse me. I need my money back. Um, so I'm gonna get me a overhead art decor light from Amazon. So I'll keep y'all posted on that on the next vlog. So we step by step in it. We're trying to transform this apartment. Cause baby, this apartment was looking very, very soulful. It still is. Cause I know y'all see that floor lamp over there. That floor lamp, it looked like it's from the eighties. That gotta go. So I'm doing a lot of wall lighting. I just want to let y'all know my plans. 
okay? I'm doing a lot of wall lighting in this room, ceiling lighting if I can, but a lot of wall lighting to illuminate this area. This area is dark, okay? My room, I prefer it to be dark, but I want to have a more ambiance lighting in there, okay? So when I am able to black everything out and decorate it as much as I can in my room, then I'm gonna add some ambiance lighting at the very end. Okay, y'all know the difference? Illuminating and making it brighter in here and creating a vibe in my room, okay? So that's what we're doing. But I definitely want this apartment to be a little artsy. Very artsy, but very minimal. Not soulful, because it was soulful, okay? So we need to put some on this wall. We need to change those curtains and let's get to work. Like it's cool, nigga. Hell nah, fake the truth. Play by rules, play with you. That ain't something I would do. I have a plaques on plaques, okay. You nigga screens ain't that, okay. I done seen the head to get wet, okay. Hit him nine times, he a cat, okay. I grew up on the east, no cap, okay. Green car, green tilts, and a strap, okay. Keep talking about where I was born, okay. Like a nigga won't stick, okay, y'all. So we're done for now. If y'all hear like some loud noise, that's my AC. I had to turn it down a little bit. I was getting a little hot and a little windy. But uh, I decided to do that picture long ways or vertical, whatever you want to call it. Y'all, at first it was crooked. Y'all let me know if it's still crooked. It's looking crooked on camera, but I promise you guys, like I worked on that very hard. So I'm going to put two more big pictures i don't know my big head in a way let me more yeah now y'all can see it i'm gonna put two more pictures beside it that's kind of going with the same motif y'all let me know if i should have did it uh horizontally that was my first choice but i like the vertical because it fills up the wall more vertically and so i gotta worry about is just two more pictures horizontally and that'll make the the wall more decorative if i get two more pictures because when it, when i try to do it horizontally the 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 decor piece the art it ain't look good and it was like short and it still was a big space between the art piece and the couch now mind y'all i am putting lights like the light that goes over it so I'm thinking I'm gonna get two other ones and put the light over those too. I think that's gonna look, it's gonna illuminate this space if I add two more. And I actually know where to get them from. Um, if I add two more and put the lights above those two as well. But that light from Timu, that trash light is going back. Carol, so go ahead and read it. Uh, the Texas Department of Public Safety. Attached is your new driver license identification card. Please check your new attached card very carefully. If you find any errors, email them or call the customer service. Uh, it is there, If there is no errors, it is very important that you destroy your previous driver license or identification card. It is a violation of, te of Texas state law to have more than one driver license or identification card in your possession. If the new card you have received is a commercial license learner's permit do not destroy your cur current driver license the clp must be presented with your cur current driver license thank you and please drive safe you got your card take your card off <laughs> i'm not gonna show y'all the card this i got all her information but as you can see she got her card you like it Ooh, you official, you official girl. Smile for the camera, girl. You happy? Congratulations. Congratulations. Ocean views, small circle, it's a chosen view. I wrote it down and I followed through. I bought a pound and we rode the fuel. 
talk shit, but she know it's true. Ocean views, small circle, it's a chosen few. I wrote it down, then I followed through. I bought a pound, then we rode the fuel. I talk shit, but she know it's true. Blessings, bitches in my section. Y'all with all this money, I'm obsessive. Weapons, turning off y'all extras. Turning off this bullshit direction. Turning up my grind, waking up to more pressure. But it's all in your mind. So I never feel pressure, knew it's all in due time Now honey stacking like Tetris Hustle hard is my message, then double back and get extras No I spaz when I catch it, yellow bone, white Lexus All black tan, two white cups, fat gold chains, bright Texas I'm just young and I'm reckless, I'm just over my section I'm just out here on top speed with my top down and I'm revving I don't know about hell, I don't know Ooh, y'all I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am sweating Crazy If it was during the day though I will be dripping. I ain't even wipe the sweat off. I'm about to. I'm about to try to see if I got something in here to wipe this sweat off. Temporarily, because I'm about to go home and take a shower. I am dirty. Let me take this clock clip out my hair because I just got off the car. I mean, Jackson. Ugh, I can't even talk. I'm so tired. I just got in the car. Y'all, please do not wear these in the car. Okay. Yeah. If you don't know, if you know, you know. Okay, don't wear these in the car. So. Took out my claw clip. The shades gotta come off. I love when it gets dark later. Because I got ample time to make sure that I get out there on that track and run. Um, I'm so tired, y'all. Um, I did, on that run, I did 5,000, almost 6,000 steps. I definitely need to amp it up. Um, I need to amp it up. I need to get to 10,000, especially if I'm just doing the runs alone now. Like if I'm just doing my at home workouts and my outdoor workouts, I need to make sure that I'm mastering 10,000 steps. Um, I used to do that and not too long ago. So 10,000 steps per day is very ideal. It is doable guys, okay? I think I talked about this before. Um, and a lot of other women, a lot of other fitness girlies, they say, please, make sure you get out there and walk, baby. That's the cheat code to losing fat. Um, but anyway, you guys, yeah, I did almost 6,000 steps. It's 7.15 at night. I'm about to go home, wash all this sweat off, take this wig off, wash this wig. Um, what else? Because I usually don't even wear this wig when I work out, but... It is what it is. I got another one. I got another wig that I haven't even opened. Cut the, I, the brand new wig. It's a little shorter too. Um, but I'm not wearing that wig until it get like real, real, real hot outside. Sometimes I like a little shorter hair. Especially shorter jet black hair. Y'all, I was thinking about doing a bob. Not the ones that I used to do, baby. They ugly. I was thinking about doing like a bob bob like the bob is fire the bob is fine my bad type of bob like the robert <laughs> so literally like i wanted it right here and like a side part i think that would look so sexy with my glasses oh my god i want to do that this summer so bad i've done a curly bob before at that short I know a curly bob would be fire. No, have I done it that short? No, I've done it this short before, a curly bob. I want to do a short bob this summer. Of course, it's going to be a wig, but I want to do that. I want to do that. I ain't cut for real hell. Uh, yeah. I definitely want to do that. I saw that. I was like, I think I could pull that off. And I'm talking about not like the side, like the really deep side part. I mean, layered, Q, 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 Bob. I'll put up a picture right here, inspo picture. Um, yeah, or inspo video, whatever. But, oh my God, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I would look fire in that. Woo, smoking. Especially if I get my face, if I keep and get my face, it's slimming down. But y'all know what I mean? Like, keep it slimmed down. I think I could pull it up. Is they, they gonna stop the car? Um, yeah, I think I look fire in it. So, 
That's something think about. Make, make sure y'all let me know in the comments, though. Y'all think that's going to be cute. Y'all don't think that's going to be cute? Say, just for save it. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm about to go and take care of myself. Refresh. Really, really, really scrub down. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Aquarius, Love y'all. Hey y'all, so made it back in the car from Chicken Salad Chick. Chicken Salad Chick has been around for a long time, but I forgot that they still existed. So, I had saw it on TikTok the other day that they were eating great salad and all kind of stuff. I'm like, when did Chicken Salad Chick either came back from the dead or they're not beeping at you? Or they still uh, was around. I didn't know that. So I was like, okay. Say less. So I was like, say less. So I got the goods. Let's try to rate it one through ten. <laughs> so with my chicken salad chick, I didn't get none of the drinks there. So I got me an Olipop. This is the banana cream. I actually tried this one before and it's good. I don't have no complaints. This is one of their newest flavors. Um, so I got me an Olipop and these are the chips that I'm going to eat with it. These are some Pringles, enchilada, adobada. I actually ate these before on camera and tried these on camera before like 7,000 vlogs ago. So these are no stranger to my channel. These are so good. So yeah, let me open this up. Let me show y'all what I got. Okay, so this is the... This is the stuff to put on top of the grape salad. Then this is the box that it comes in. This is, I got the tuna kicking something. I don't know what I got. Oh wait, I got the, I'm talking about tuna. This is chicken. I got the chicken melt with the kicking Kaylin. And I spent, and I got the grape salad and I spent $11, okay? So this is what my food looks like. I don't know if y'all can see. Okay, there. That's the two. That's the sandwich. I got it on croissant and I got it toasted. Okay. It comes with this massive pickle right here. Can y'all see that? Let me let me turn the camera better. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. This is my food right here. It don't look much or nothing, do it? It look like you could make this at home, but I promise you, I think it's gonna be good. So this is the. Um, kicking Kaylin. Ooh, I got something underneath here. Okay, there we go. So this is the kicking Kaylin, and on it it has like these tomatoes, and this is the chicken salad, the lettuce, and this is the grape salad right here. This is the cookie right here, and then this is the topping to go on the grape salad, like I showed y'all earlier. This is what we're gonna try on camera. Oh, and this cookie, they fire. I just had these recently. My mom had brought us some cookies from there. And I was like, oh my God. Oh yeah, so we about to try the sandwich. Let me try this half over here. Take a bite of this pickle too. Ooh, the sandwich breaking apart. Okay, we're gonna have to try the other half because the other half breaking apart. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. It looks so good. Let me take a bite of this pickle. Mm. That crunch is crazy. My daughter a fan of pickles. She said my that sound good. Cause she's a big fan of pickles. So we're gonna take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, this is fire. This is too good. I'm gonna be a job bag later on or another day, bye. I gotta enjoy my dinner. I just wanna let y'all know that this grape salad is fire. I forgot to tell y'all about this grape salad. You can make this at home. This ain't nothing but pecans, brown sugar, some type of sweet cream and grapes, like mixed grapes this is red grapes and this is green grapes but a good substitute for that little cream i would say like greek yogurt is good 
I think that'll be bomb. Greek yogurt, no brown sugar though. I don't know. Or just say, oh, you can do honey instead of the brown sugar and still do the pecans. Or you can do almonds instead of the pecans because almonds is better. But this is really good, y'all. Uh, good afternoon, y'all. I look a mess. Uh, oh my God, y'all are shaking all over the place. Y'all, I look a mess. I'm still cute, but I look a mess, if that makes sense. But good afternoon. It is a Saturday afternoon, and I am out running errands. Tomorrow is my brunch that I'm hosting. I'm hosting a brunch for the girls. Um, and I bought, I purchased, I went to the store. I did not film, I'm sorry, but I went shopping today and I purchased me a cute like midi skirt at first I was kind of panicking because I didn't think I was going to find anything but I found a cute midi like midi skirt I'm trying to say the name right midi m-i-d-i skirt uh and it's like a turquoise blue I'm gonna show you guys later on tonight or tomorrow when I put it on I'm probably gonna show y'all tonight why not but yeah, um, I'm gonna do some more shopping with my daughter. Ooh, I was just drinking this. This is a zero sugar Gatorade. Um, it's still not healthy, y'all. Like, but I like the cucumber flavor. I know a lot of y'all, y'all don't like the cucumber flavor. Y'all be talking about it's nasty, but to me, I be quiet when y'all be talking about the Gatorade. The cucumber Gatorade is nasty. To me, it's good. Um, but anyway, let's get back on topic. I know y'all shaking and stuff, but I'm sorry. But um, I'm actually headed to pick up my daughter's gift. Um, I'm picking up my daughter's gift. Um, I got something delivered by Amazon. She has no clue I'm doing something nice for her. This is because uh, she just got her license and she's legal to drive and you know she's legal to drive she's 16 years old we about to get her car we're car shopping every now and then we go car shopping um she hasn't made her mind up but we haven't found the car that is suitable for all the needs that's first and all the wants so we're still car shopping no pressure it's no pressure um and then after she get her car she can start working I told her, as soon as you get your car, as soon as you work. Because uh, I ain't taking you to work. I ain't taking you and I ain't picking you up. That's, that's just not part of the plan. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is my skirt that I got from Fashion House. It's a pretty, pretty skirt. I was going to show y'all now, but I'm not. And excuse my appearance, you guys. I'm about to get real, real cute. Because I'm about to hang with my daughter for the rest of the evening or afternoon. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to show y'all what I got her. And I'm going to put the gift together. So, Uno momento. Yeah, so I just picked up her gift from the locker because I didn't want her to know that I had her got her some. Ooh, the balloon almost flew out. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna put y'all somewhere so y'all can see. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I got her gift. This is her gift from Amazon. So I got her card right here. This is the tissue paper right here. And this is her card right here. This is the envelope. And I got her bag. Oh, happy day. <laughs> and this is her little balloon, y'all. That's so cute. So, I was like, I would get her a star because she's a star to me. She's a star in my eyes. So, I'm going to fix her back up. I hope, I wish I could see what I'm doing. Hold on. I don't think I can see what I'm doing. I got a case of water right here, y'all. A hot mess. Put her bag right here. So, let me take this little thing off. I'm actually late picking her up. She's with my mom and my dad right now, helping them out. And she thinks that I'm just in traffic or in line somewhere, struggling to get there. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm literally putting her gift together. So I need to take her gift out first and put the tissue paper on top, right? I hope y'all can hear me. 
it's so windy. So, y'all want to see what I got her? So, this is what I got her. Let me check it out. This is a, oh, Gino Milano watch and wallet set. Okay, so let me show y'all what it is. I got it from Amazon, you guys. It's gorgeous. I actually asked her, I was like, what is your favorite color? And she was like, I like hot pink. Oop, the balloon almost flew out of here. She was like, I like hot pink. And I was like, okay. So this is what it looks like, you guys. The balloon almost flew away. This is what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? So, let me put this balloon somewhere. So I'm probably gonna put this in this box. Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry y'all. So I'm gonna put her gift in her gift bag. Y'all, why am I not good at tissue paper? Um, I'm like okay with tissue paper, but I'm not that good. Like some people are talented. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. Okay. So this is what her bag looks like. And where did I put, oh, I was like, where did I put her card? So I'm gonna put her card and stuff, I'm gonna fill this out. I'm gonna fill her card out and stuff. And yeah, you guys, I might not film her reaction because that's personal. I don't know. I might pick up the camera after she get her gift so she can tell y'all how, how nice I was. I don't know, but I don't wanna film her reaction because she's gonna be, not dressed the cutest she's actually helping and she's gonna be in a t-shirt and some leggings and some sneakers and all sweaty up i'm not gonna put her on camera like that so but yeah that's her little gift you guys uh, i'm so happy for her and i'm so proud of my daughter like uh, uh, she's accomplished so much so much so anyway you guys i'll catch y'all later on when we out and about i'm not too sure we'll see bye bye Okay, y'all, so about to surprise her. She don't know. She keeps asking me what I'm doing. Hold on, y'all. I think she watching me, but it's okay. Hold on, got her stuff. Yeah, no, that's why I bought it. Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to get it out. I'll probably wear it today. I bet you is. You put your license and stuff in there, okay? All your cards. All your important it. stuff that goes in there. Oh my gosh, it's cute. Open it. Take it out. Ooh. 
Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like the colorway. Oh, is that why you was asking what my favorite Yes. Color was? <laughs> you don't do that. That's the design. Oh, sweetie. it is? Oh, oops. Open it up. Oh, nice. Take the paper off. Ooh, it's nice and spacious. Uh huh. Oh, I have areas to put my stuff in too. Cause I remember I was telling you about it. Mm -hmm. this is it's good. beautiful. I like this. Thank you, you love it. It's quality. Thank you. It's made. I wanted day. to get you something quality. It's made my day today. Mm-hmm. And look at the watch. This watch looks nice. Ooh. And it's gold. It goes perfect with all the gold. It's guys. quality. Your your bag has that gold on it. Well, oh. actually, it has silver, but I, nobody can really tell. Yeah, it still go with it. Pink and sil uh, gold go good together. That's nice. I like. It. You like Thank it? You. You, you like it? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you love it? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Just got back in from church. Hair is done. Um, I didn't put any baby hairs, but I'm getting ready to. I kind of molded them just now and get ready to swoop, swoop. Um, but I just got home from church. And um, the reason why I'm talking about like baby hairs and hair is done and all that, because I'm getting ready to go to brunch in the next two hours. Um, so I got my hair done, a light beat. Um, I did like minimal lashes. I don't know how I feel about those yet. I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, I just got back home for church. I got my church outfit on, but we got to get out of this. Church was really, really good, by the way. Um, we had a guest speaker today, our guest pastor today. And he was just talking about um, being present in the house of the Lord. Because <laughs> we're present for everything else. But um, I ain't going to get to preaching. Everybody has their own relationship with God. I have my own. You have your own. But he really, really... Um, he touched some souls today, if, if that's what I need to say. He, to he touched some souls, okay? So, anyway, you guys, I'm getting ready for brunch. And, yeah, it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm getting out. Um, we're going to be with the girls. Not too sure if we're going to get a table anymore. Some of the girls could not make it. Um, they already let me know. Some way in advance, some a little close to in advance, but it's okay. Um, I had a table originally for seven, then it was supposed to be for six, and now it's looking like five people, and, uh, the girls gonna have to, have to meet me at the bar, okay? I'm not gonna cancel it just yet, I'm gonna see what the restaurant says when I get there. Um, I'm already gonna get there early because they have a live band that starts at 12, and I'm gonna get there around a little bit like 12 30 ish um i already got me some cash let me make sure i got my cash yeah so i already got me some cash and stuff like that and um so i'm good to go i can go straight to the place okay i got the cash just in case if i have to pay to park anywhere or um pay to get in anywhere because i actually want to have this as an extended sunday fun day like i said i don't care who with me but i'm trying to have me a good time today it is what it is on that. So, that's what we're doing. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to show y'all what I'm wearing. Okay? But first off, I'm going to show y'all the accessories. I don't know if I showed y'all earlier in the vlog these Timu sunglasses. These are from Timu. But they have this same exact style on Amazon. So, like the same style. I think I showed y'all earlier in the vlog. I don't know how I'm doing this vlog, but... We're gonna definitely wear these today. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure I modeled them, but I'm so in love with them that I wanna model them again before I even put on my outfit. <laughs> Cause they're so cute. Like, look. <sighs> they are gonna be fired. Like my look is going to eat. And my lashes, they're not, you know, all over the place. Like they're not big so you can see my eyes you know what i'm saying like they're not thick that's what i mean so you can see my eyes i look pretty in these and like i said they have the same style on amazon i will link the timu link and the amazon link for you guys just in case if you guys are interested okay they're a little bit more expensive on amazon on timu these are probably like five bucks on amazon there was probably like 12 i'm not too sure i will have to put the link in the description box okay next I wanted to start with accessories and stuff. 
for the outfit today. Yeah, I'm wearing those sunglasses today. I don't know if I told y'all that. Yeah, I'm wearing those. These are some shoes, some guest heels that I got from Ross. They look churchy, but they're not. They're not churchy. Well, I'm wearing a skirt. I have some other heels. Uh, you know what? Let me go get those. Y'all gonna be like, girl, yes. Because I want to have some support on my feet. These are kind of like a platform. It has like this little guest logo. It's cute to me. I had them on my feet. Like these on are fire. On my feet, they look good. And they look like they some church shoes, but I promise you not. Like you can wear these to church if you want to. But the support, are, the support on these are unmatched. Like they're very, very, very comfortable compared to my other ones. Let me go get my other ones. Y'all gonna be like, girl, yes. So I have these Azalea, I hope I'm saying this right, Azalea Wang heels. Y'all, I wore these for my birthday last year. When I tell y'all these hurt, y'all don't think these will hurt, but they do. They some kitty cats. They like some mules. They're not even that tall. I don't know why this hair in my, I'm gonna have to spray this hair so it don't have any flyaways. But y'all, the heel is not that tall. I just bought some black shoes from Amazon with the same heel. Those don't even hurt at all. These right here, let me see. Let me put these on real quick and see. Oh no. They be hurting every time I wear them, so. Okay, why they don't hurt right now? Every time I buy something new, then to replace them, it don't hurt. Yeah, it's like it doesn't have any support. It's real wobbly. So, I still got two pairs of silver heels. So, we got these as my other pair of silver heels, but I'm definitely going to wear these instead today. It just goes with my look better. It looks more polished if I wear these. And it goes with my bag. So, these are Guess. These are made by Guess. And these were $32.99. I don't know if y'all can see that. $32. So, we're definitely wearing these. I just think these are so cute. Hey, they're not made. They're, they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them. Okay? And watch I get compliments. Y'all see them on camera and be like, ooh, that's ugly. But then in, in person, y'all see them. Y'all be like, oh, it's so cute. So, I don't know what's, what's fake or real. <laughs> Next thing. Next thing that I'm wearing today as accessories is this silver bag. It just goes with the shoes. It just goes with the shoes more better than my other ones. My other ones was more shinier. These are more matted and it goes with the purse better. So that's the accessories. For the outfit, le outfit. Okay, so for the outfit, I am wearing this shirt life love is for eternity oh can y'all see that okay it's in a size large that's the brand life can y'all see this so this is a shirt that i'm wearing it has like the bedazzled arm cuff links whatever you want to call it i don't know what you call this but that's on the sleeve and they also have it on the collar and it's silver and I tried on this outfit already, you guys. So, if you guys don't know me by now, I'm a big fan of button downs. That's like, button downs meaning like, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna tie it. <laughs> so, sometimes I wear my, uh, sometimes I wear my button downs like fully buttoned down. Like I, I just button it all the way up and I don't tie it, but for this occasion we tying it. <laughs> I got this shirt. Oh, by the way, that shirt is from Ross and it was $12. And then this skirt is like a ribbed skirt. And y'all, y'all wouldn't believe how the buttons are. You can button it all the way closed. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like literally, button it all the way closed for a classier look. But me, y'all know I'm a hooch. These buttons are unbuttoning all the way to about right here for the restaurant. <laughs> I'm gonna have a massive split right here. And if we go somewhere else, I might unbutton by two more. Okay, I'm a hoochie, I'm sorry. And this skirt is from Fashion House. It looks real small right now, but if you buy something ribbed, 
always get it two sizes down. Okay, let me put my sunglasses. See, look, perfect match with the sunglasses. Look how cute that's gonna be. And it has like, the, like I said, the buttons are right here and these are silver. And this was $18.99 at Fashion House. So, it's very, very stretchy. I already tried this outfit on, it eats. Like this outfit is banging, okay? So, that's what we're wearing today. And I'm just gonna wear some basic standard silver jewelry because I don't wanna look soulful. I think in my opinion, when you put all that gaudy jewelry on, when your outfit, when you, if you want your outfit to talk for itself, even if your outfit is basic, it's really nothing basic about my outfit. I already have bedazzled uh, cuffs on here, a bedazzled collar, buttons on my skirt. When y'all see it on, y'all gonna be like, yeah, I'm glad you went minimal with the jewelry. Now I'm pretty much probably gonna wear a whole bunch of bracelets or a whole bunch of rings on my fingers. And then the nails, let me get the nail options out. We have these, look at the case. It's disgusting. It has makeup all over it. But look at how long these are. That's a no, okay? But they're beautiful, right? But I don't know. I'm thinking no. And then, oh, by the way, it has like this V French tip on them. I don't know if y'all can see that up close. They're so, so cute. Y'all see that? And it has like the stones at the bottom. That's so cute. But I don't know, that's too long. Then we have these which is not even the same blue, but does it even matter? You know what I'm saying? But I wore blue nails last week. Like, I think I'm gonna give the blue a rest and it's not even the same blue. So it's a no to those. And then we have these right here. Now these are something that I'm gearing towards. Like, I really like these, this iridescent. And you know, these are almond nails. I love almond shaped nails. They just give class to me. And they make my fingers look so good. So I was thinking about these. Or these, which is a medium length. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that better. It's a medium length um, French tips, but they have like sparkle in the, in the tip. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I'm thinking about these. I'm gonna ask my daughter, Jada. I have a, I have a question. I have a question, boo. Yeah. So my daughter picked these. So that's what we're doing today. Okay. Hey y'all. So I'm on my way to brunch with the girlies. It's looking like it's gonna be five of us now. I thought it was gonna be four, but it's five. First it was seven. It went down to six. Now it's five. I don't know what the restaurant is going to say. Are y'all crooked? I think y'all were crooked. I don't know what the restaurant is going to say. The girls don't know, but the reservation isn't until uh, 1.30. They think it's at one o'clock. I'm not, I'm not a punctual person either, <laughs> but I know everybody else worse than I am. So, I definitely wanted to make sure that I gave 30 minutes grace for the girls. And of course, anybody that's running way behind in that, you know, will give them 15 more minutes. Because I think every restaurant is like a 15 grace, 15 minute grace period. I'm trying to put y'all as straight as possible. Um, I'm wearing my sunglasses, but these eyeglasses hit more. Like my glasses is cuter than my sunglasses. Oh. I got a whole bunch of rings on and I got my nails on. I don't know if y'all can see them. There you go, you can see them. So cute. And I don't know if I told y'all, but these nails, can y'all see that? The sun. Can y'all see? Yeah, these are from Shein. It's not the most thickest nails. They're not thick, but they're doing its job, you know? So trying to make sure I don't have this purse as packed as I wanted to because it's a smaller purse and I have all this junk in it. I was going to do a different lip but I like this lip and my hair I was actually going to do it different than this too. I was actually going to do tighter curls at the bottom 
but this gives more effortless it's just cuter to me so we're gonna stick with this you know i did flat iron curls this morning when i went to church and they i let them fall so they look good to me um the lash of course i got these cat eye lashes from ooh, yeah i got these cat eye lashes from amazon so if you guys are interested they make my eyes pop like they're so cute and I don't got a thick lash on. It'd be too hot for all that. It's 90 degrees outside, so it's too hot for all that. I don't have my shoes on yet. I have my slides on. So I'm gonna put my shoes on when I get there. Um, I might extend the Sunday Funday depending on how much fun we have. We're definitely extending the Sunday Funday. I'm so excited to see my girls. Um, I've already been out with these girls before. Um, about these girls i hate saying girls these women these wonderful beautiful ladies that's much better uh, before and they're a blast to hang out with so yeah i don't have my heels on yet i'm about to put them on when i get to the place i'm gonna chop it up with you guys when i get to the restaurant because i'm going to do some phone calls facetimes text messages and stuff but i'm so excited and yeah we gonna make sure all the girls are in the camera as much as I can. I know we'll be having a good time and we don't have time for all that. I'm gonna make sure I film as much as I can. So, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. If I didn't tell y'all, all of y'all.